Okay, we're continuing on with inline and block elements. Now, in the last video, we talked about how the box model works with inline and block elements. In this video, we're going to do something a little strange. You can actually convert a block element into an inline element and vice versa. But I think converting inline into block elements is more widely used. So that's what we're going to do in this video. Now, as we see, we've got our IMG element, which of course is inline. And you will remember that inline elements are stacked side by side, not in a top down order. So in order to convert this, we can use the display property. So let's go ahead and do that. And so here it is display and we just specify block. And what we're basically doing here is telling the browser, Hey, this inline element, I want you to treat this as a block element. Now let's go ahead and save this and let's hit refresh over here and now you can see they're stacked in a top-down manner the way block elements are and you'll also notice one other thing here there's no margin now between the top and the bottom that's interesting watch what happens if I comment this out now and we'll save this hit refresh and you can see that the browser automatically puts margin in between the inline elements when they're side by side. And you'll see here, I, I didn't actually specify a margin because I wanted you to see that. Now, if we put a margin, obviously there would be a margin there. But if I go ahead and resave this, you'll see that once again, the margin is eliminated when they're in a top down manner. Now what this also allows us to do now is center the image because you can't center an inline element. You can only center block. So now let's go ahead and center it. And you will remember several videos ago that we accomplished that by uh, putting in this margin left property and setting it to auto and the same for the right. So let's go ahead and save this. And you can see they're centered now. Now let's go ahead and comment out the display property again. And you can see we can't center them anymore. In fact, they're being treated as inline elements. So that's one trick you can use if you want an inline element to act as a block element. And as I said, you can also convert a block into an inline element, but I really don't use that too much. I usually convert inline into block elements. Okay, I will see you guys in the next video.